How's it going friends? I'm Joe, for those of you that don't know, and today I want to go over plugs. Let's go! I make living hard look too easy. Uh, in my office here, we've decided to replace the plugs in here. I live in a modular home, so it's the plugs are kind of funky. They're a modular style plug. Not a fan of them. I don't feel like they're very safe. So we're gonna show you how to put in remodel boxes or new or old work boxes. And then plugs. As you know, we have a little one running around. And these are tamper resistant plugs, which are good for that. So you don't have to use these things and try and pry them off whenever. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, first things first, you want to turn off the power at the breaker, of course. Oh, so everything's dead here for sure. Our lights are running off of extension cord. Get rid of this. My cut-in box. Also known as a remodel box. Take the wire and just tuck it in a little bit. Check, see which side I have a stud. I don't have one on this setup. Very close. You gotta level it. Okay, watch your hand. Ah. ah. Two. And tighten that paddle up. Oh, you got it? Okay. Good job. A little more. So you'll notice when I cut this, I go right down the center and I just barely cut it. My knife is very sharp. So you just barely, you're just scoring it. And usually you can kind of manipulate. There, see? Now if you look, I didn't even cut deep enough to, to cut the paper. So yeah, just be real careful when you're cutting it because you nick the wire, then it's just not good. And also you'll notice when I cut right down the center, the ground wire runs right down the center. So I don't really risk cutting the wire, say if I was trying to cut it over here. So it's one reason why I go right down the middle. Now we will strip it. So most of your plugs have a strip gauge on them. It's usually about a half an inch. Strip. I just want to go over these tamper plugs real quick. They're really neat because, you know, the old paper clip thing where you get your kid with the paper clip, they don't allow you to put just a single thing in one of the slots. The way that they work is something has to be, for example, a plug, or we'll use one of these fun plug covers. Something has to go into both slots at the same time, and that's the only way that it will work. Take my ground and twist it down so that when I tighten it up, it'll get tighter. See how it t turned over that way? And then I'll tighten up my screws here that what I would use for 12 gauge wire because I don't need them protruding out inside my box and just creating a hazard. This is 14 gauge wire so these plugs have holes in the back that are made for 14 gauge and it's pretty simple. Black wire goes to the brass screws. Black to brass. It just rolls off the tongue. Neutral white wire goes to the silver screws. Silver and light. Okay. 
And that's it. Give the wire a little kink up down. And put the screw into the box. Where's that little screwdriver? Do you know where it went? <laughs> Excuse you. Can I have it? <laughs> All done. There you go. And hey, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and comment below with any questions or comments that you have. Thank you.